Well, it's Green Thumb Thursday, where we give you the tips and tricks that you need to help your gardens flourish. And we're only just a few weeks away from the official start of summer. That means a lot of you are going to be spending more time in your gardens, but unfortunately, summertime is going to bring those summer pests. So it is important to know how to protect your plants from them. So joining us this morning, we have Carol and Randall, the owners of the Gardener's Outpost this morning. They're here to tell us what we can expect this summer. How are we going to prepare for these bugs? The best way to prepare is to start building an ecosystem mm -hmm. so that you bring in the beneficials along with the pests. Because the pests will come. Yeah. I guarantee okay. they are going to come. We can't prevent yeah. it at this point. Right. Okay. Right. And there's there's early damage starting to show up with some of your um, garden plants and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, we really haven't hit the top of the season, so now is really a good time to bring in some of the plants that will bring in the beneficial insects. Yeah. When is the top of the season? So when when is that season? June, July starts is really when it starts to really get going. Um, yeah, you'll have the flea beetles coming in. You'll have the um, leaf-footed bugs, hornworms haven't even started, but they'll they'll get going. Oof. Um, and so that's that's the June, July time is when they really okay hit full power. So that's kind of what we are expecting for. So, but there are ways to kind of maybe prevent it or even maybe like work around it when it does come. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of tricks. So like one, plant these kind of plants where your beneficial insects will be attracted to. Okay, yeah, they're food source. So right. what are these? Yeah. Tell me about them. Yeah, so you have like yarrow, you have some scavolia, you have um, more yarrow here. I just brought two different colors. Oh, yeah. so you uh -huh. see Coreopsis, and the, the reason that they like them is the beneficial insects like the small buds, like the small flowers, yeah. versus like the big blooms. Yeah. Um, so those bring in the, the beneficials, so that's sort of like their vegetables, and then like the aphids are like their, their meats. So okay. you have to have both, and then you have to provide like a home for them to live. So you want to have a little bit of like shrubbery or some, you know, debris mm -hmm. around your garden so they have a place to live feed their vegetables mm -hmm. and get their, their meat sort of. So they worry about that and they don't worry about others. They kind of really just focus all of their time and energy on those. Well, the, the beneficials feed on this and then they'll go right. out and seek the okay. pests. The, the pests. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then you can start feeding your plants this. And we brought this one because it's a convenient container. Yeah. Um, earthworm castings. Okay. Earthworm castings are a great way to feed your plant. And it contains chitinase, and I could go on a long diatribe uh -oh. about on that. that. Yeah. Um, this is why you're the expert. Don't like the yeah. chitinase. Got you it. don't like chitinase. You use the earthworm cast castings, and it makes the plants taste bad oh. to the to, to the pest insects. Okay. You know. Yeah. And then from there, you're managing the population because you want you want to allow some of the pest insects to be mm -hmm. there, so the beneficials can eat. Right. But if you have an, a serious outbreak. You That's when like you start using This is that. where all this comes yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. For an outbreak. So this is just a, when you see it, kind of a, this is a to have now, but this is a emergency. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Right. Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. And then really quickly, kind of tell us, here's a little bit of some spots and things yeah. that you need to be looking out for. Yeah. So like the damage here, you can see there's some speckling and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You use that to kind of identify and be like, okay, I, I may have bugs there. Um, so then you look on the underside of the leaf, you look at the the nodes and the areas, and you try to identify exactly which one you have, okay. because with these products, it's it's specific. How do you, you treat know? it? Yeah, is it a crawling insect? Is it a caterpillar? Gotcha. That kind of thing. Because like this damage right here is actually from slugs. Oh. Um, uh oh. And <laughs> I couldn't cool. tell if it was slugs or caterpillars until I found the slugs. Trying to do the research yeah. there. Um, gotcha. And the, okay. the way to get rid of slugs or caterpillars is two totally different Completely routes. Completely different. Okay, so yeah. you got to go ahead and make sure that you are kind of inspecting all of your plants there. We have all the good, the bad, and the ugly all into one here. Yep. Carol Randall, yeah. thank you guys so much for of stopping course. by this morning. Yeah. Really quickly, we want to go ahead and put up on their website for more information about Gardeners Outpost. There it is right on over there with all of their details. Thank you guys again so much for stopping by. Of course. We Our always pleasure. appreciate it.